Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have an urgent prayer request that I've been asked to, um, well, she just asked me to pray, but I want everybody to pray. Today is Friday, March the 27th, and it's 5.39 p.m. Okay, this is from our sister Carol Evans, and she says in the comments, um, Hi, Jeannie. I hope you're doing well. We're okay, but the virus is spreading quickly here in Michigan. Well, sometimes you can't believe the numbers on the news if it's mainstream media. But anyway, that's that's my opinion that they don't tell, you know, they're making it out to be worse than it is. But this is not about that, y'all. I have a serious prayer request. Please pray for my friend, Rucky. He was framed for a car theft and murder in Nigeria. He was imprisoned the day after the accusation without a trial. He has been beaten. Food is horrible and sometimes is withheld. It's a filthy environment with several diseases circulating. Yeah, they, they have many diseases down there in Africa. This is Nigeria. Yeah, their prison is not as nice as ours. I'm sure they're not. Ours are not all that great anyway, unless they're there for uh, rich people like Martha Stewart. Please pray to get him released quickly. I pray that the real criminals are found and that they confess so Rocky can be set free without having to pay a fine of $20,000. He can't get that kind of money. He could be sentenced to death by hanging Oh my goodness, this is terrible. I asked her, because I know, Carol, you've commented on here uh, several times, and I, I don't presume you lived there. I asked, <laughs> before I look back up who you were, I said, <laughs> how is he able to tell you all that? Does he have family that is able to keep you informed? Or do you live there and get to visit? I was just curious, you know, because in Nigeria, some of those prisons are so bad, they don't even allow c communication. I know in China, I used to get the, um, oh, what is it, something about martyrs, uh, a publication from them, and it talked about the prisoners in China, you know, Christians that were caught preaching or passing out Bibles or stuff. They, they were arrested for like eight years, you know, and they don't even get to see their families, but maybe, maybe once a month, you know, if they feel like it. Anyway, so I don't know how it is in Nigeria, but it, it looks like they're letting him uh, at the least, you know, communicate with family or, but this just happened oh my so let's all stay in prayer that that um I hope that Rocky is is born again and prays and gets raptured right up out of that jail or the real criminals are found and they prove somehow that they did it because I doubt they'll confess. I mean, seriously, if you're that bad of a person that you kill somebody to take their car, they're not just going to easily confess. They'd have to have some something on them. Anyway, let us pray that the Lord's will be done in this and that he ends up coming closer and closer to God and gets raptured out of that prison. That's my prayer. It's more likely scenario than the other, but it could happen. Those men could run out of gas in the one. They may be escaping another crime. 
run out of gas in that one and go do it again in another, you know, and get caught. So, you know, that can happen. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. So, y'all be, be in, in prayer for, um, okay, what was his name? I'm moving myself around here. Let me get my, Rucky, R-U-K-K-Y. All right. So I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection, myself, my computer, and all of you and your devices and um, all of your internet connections. And remember, try to remember to turn off your cell phones when you don't need them, especially at night. Don't leave them on right on your bedside table where they're by your head. And don't leave your Wi-Fi's turned on. Turn off your modem. Or unplug them, whatever. It just takes a minute to get them up and running in the morning. So we can all do that. It'll help our immune system. If this thing, I don't know what's going on for sure. I know it's a live exercise. They've admitted it. Well, I mean, that one man's let it slip. And uh, he's the same one or Anyway, he might, the one I heard, I heard of is the same one that said it's the biggest hoax of the day. And they keep reporting more and more numbers, more and more deaths. And people just get more and more scared. Oh my, oh my, there's been 10 more deaths in Alabama or whatever. I don't know how many. I haven't checked today. I don't even think I got or maybe what i got was from this morning they issued either yesterday or today our governor here in alabama issued uh and i thought this was already done but apparently not all non-essential businesses have to close and my i was talking to my lady that used to be my next door neighbor her name is Jean. She she wants it pronounced Jeannie also, just like me. And she moved into the room, I, the apartment I used to live in. It's a one bedroom, and I moved right next door into a studio. So we were next door neighbors, and we were friends and saw each other. And she used to have a little doggy and had to put him down. And he's the doggy on my video. Pets, our pets will go to heaven. I got a message from Jesus that our pets will go to heaven. Well, anyway, that little doggy on the custom thumbnail is her doggy. So I kind of stayed away from her for a while because I still had my dog and she was so depressed. But now that I've moved, I go see her almost every day. <laughs> that is so weird. But I'm glad we're staying in touch. She, she's a very sweet lady. Anyway, I don't know how I got off on that, but um, she still misses him so much. So, anyway, let's keep Rucky in our prayers. And um, that they'll feed him and not withhold his food. That is so cruel. Anyway, Jesus, please help him and comfort him and send him comforting angels. Comfort him while he's in prison. Please help him to get released. And I pray he gets ready to go up with us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. It won't be long. It can't be. With all this going on, this scenario has got to change. I don't know. I just feel like there's, it's got to end so that weddings can happen again before this goes real for real okay bye for now y'all i'll talk to you later